This week's clarity tip, confidence. Because without confidence, I mean, just flat out, you're not going to get very far. So this is it. My last week at Holland's. Um, for the last four years I've been going to school here and it's been, I think the best way to describe it is a surreal experience. Just working here and feeling better and getting to know these fantastic classmates of mine and hearing so many great plays. Uh, it's not only made me a better writer, it's made me a better person. It's been just amazing and um, four years at Holland University in the MFA Playwriting Program is something that I don't know how you can describe it. Theater is summer camp is what some of us call it and you know it kind of feels that way but it's a summer camp where you, you work hard and you, you, you dedicate yourself to a craft and you push yourself you know. We have a little class called master class called first drafts where we get a bunch of prompts on one day, and 72 hours later, we have to turn in a full-length play. Here we go. Becky, are you excited for first drafts? I am, but you know, I started first drafts with a brand new Kindle and books for pleasure, and I realized this is the last time I'm going to see these <laughs> until six weeks from now. So instead... Well, I'm doing swell. I'm really looking forward to this, and I think I'm going to have a wonderful time. <laughs> <laughs> To be continued. Dun dun dun. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> it's, Week one. It's now no hour 32. Some of us already feel the tension of the class. <laughs> None of us know what's going on, and we can't rely on the people before because he's completely changed the syllabus. So, all you people who are coming into Holland and you're like, oh, I'm watching the videos, I know what to expect. Todd's gonna change all of it. All of it. You write about puppies last time, this time you're writing about penguins. But they're in Brazil. Rebecca, it's too early in this process to get crazy. <laughs> they call it creative here. <laughs> so this week, while one of my classes, the final, is um, the class of solo performance. So we had to do a solo performance, uh, a 10 minute piece, if not more, a 10 minute piece of a one person show we could develop. and. What I did, I did 10 minutes on things I've gone through being an Asian in theater. But you know, pretty sure I took the easy way out in creating that piece, but I, it was a, something I wanted to get off my chest. And it was very cathartic doing the show. Um, to use the beforehand and some segments of that show that I am actually proud that I did. Are you ready for some solo shows? We're all so excited. Not really. Find out oh, we are. Follow my face. I could quite literally with the pearls. Playwrights and the preparation. Actors. Actors and the prep. Playwrights and the trippy. So I should be warming up and getting ready right now. But I just wanted to say it's kind of apropos that this is happening. Um, my last year down here. Because given the topic I'm talking about, you'll see that in a minute. Um, this is for you Wagner people. This is the senior showcase I never got to have. How wrapping up full circle it, that is. Okay, that was that was deeper when I didn't stop. I'm gonna shut up now and just go to the show. Something about this sets me off. 
So I continued down the list. And every role I said that wasn't definitively Asian, he shot down. A big argument started in my classroom over what I should and shouldn't do. I really wish that this was isolated to me as a performer. As a writer, a play would go up and the uh, audience would say to the house management, oh, it's a great play, I love it. And then they would come to me. And one of the first questions to come out of a lot of their mouths is, dear, why aren't you writing for your people? Once upon a time, I fell for a girl. Others would fall for her too. She would get her happy ending. Wish to God it could have been ours. You gave me my music, made my song take flight. So say you'll share with me one love, one lifetime. Anywhere you go, let me go to. That's all I ask of. And for every day, they tell me what I should and shouldn't do, and they tell me the roles I can't play. I realize I have a new reason to like being in theater. Because, because anyone, what anyone really needs is just 30 seconds at a stage, 30 seconds at a stage, to prove who they are to be whatever they want to be. I mean, doing that show, I mean, beyond that, I did a No Shame piece that was a kind of a wrap-up of the four years. I did the first piece I ever did at No Shame, and uh, one of my favorites from this past year, so um, there's a link to it, because I know I don't want to make this video too long. Um, but I have to move on here from now to my show in the Fringe, and I have to focus on that, and after that, I have no idea. I, I was a teacher in the public schools. I've left that profession, um, partially by choice. And uh, I'm moving on to other things. I'm trying to figure out what to move on to. I don't know what's going to happen when I get back to New York. I really don't. Um, when I get there, the show will go up. Success, failure, whatever. It will happen and see what happens next.